pointer, nothing happens, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. We did a couple shots, nothing happens, which means we got the wrong one. Although it points to the right value, we got the wrong one. So let's fix that. Um, and let's try the one above it. So we're trying this one now. Um, 0 C F F 4 8 B 8. So what does that point to? That points to the same address, which is fine. That could be our one, so let's find out if it is. Find out axis at this point, take a couple shots. No, that's not what we're looking for. Let's click on the next one and let's try that one. Uh, and then we're going to go 0 1 D E 9 0 D 0. Alright, what does that point to? That points to the same address. Let's find out what axis is this address. Um, and there you go, got something. And there we go, we shoot and it comes up, which is fine, it's what we're looking for. Um, hopefully it will be, we'll find out when we get the last address and I know this is correct because I know the last offset is 378 and that is the offset to the base address so we got 378 for offset, so offset excuse me, make sure you keep writing these down if you forget these, well you better have a good memory because if you don't write these down we're screwed 01DE8DE8D 58 alright so let's copy that We'll do a new scan now. We don't want those results anymore. And here we go. So now we've done this, so let's close this because I don't really care about this now. And we've got a ton of results. That's a lot of results. Now, it's a safe assumption to make that if we're getting some green addresses, um, that it's probably one of these that is our final address, our static address. So what I always do is just go to the first static address if I find one and try it out. If it's that one, good. If it's not, just got to go through the other ones. This can be hard work, but most of the time, if when you see a static address, it'll probably be that one. So let's go here. There, there might be other hints out, hints out there, but I don't know many of them. So if any of you guys got any good hints about uh, how to find these addresses, leave them on the comments up to you that will be great I'm sure some people would appreciate that um, so we're gonna try and put this address in right uh, let's add a pointer because uh, this is our last address let's try that so 004DF73C now by default this pushed it up here so let's move it back to the second one which is the one previous and I'll one here is 378 and press OK and as you can see it went to the exact address which means we found our static address this address will never change if we code it properly right so as long as we point to this address we'll be fine alright so <coughs> We've got an address and our our ammo is our most difficult one. Now just to be sure of what we're doing let's just put um, just put a thousand here to make sure we got the right address and we did right and that's perfect. We could freeze it, freeze it if we like. There you go. It doesn't go down. And that's what we're going to do in our code, pretty much. So we've got our address. Let's just now double click this and make sure you've got all these values down. All you need technically is this, that, and these offsets. So let's do that. Let's. We've got the offsets already. 0, 14, 378. Um, and here, the last address. Just copy that. All right copy that. Um, technically, we don't need this or this because we're going to calculate everything from the original address. All right. So all we need is this. So um we yeah, we needed three hundred and seventy eight, fourteen, yeah, sorry, I don't wanna don't wanna save anything. Um actually might want to save this in case we lose it. Probably go for a power out or something. Um so uh I love uh what am I gonna write? I love uh addresses. Addies. Just remember that. So uh we don't forget about them. So save yours if you like. Otherwise, if you got a power out or something happens, you lose all your stuff. So we found it, and this is the most difficult one. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find out our health address. Now health is a bit easier to do, but it it can get a bit tricky. So let's just put ammo here so we know what we're talking about. Now this is a three-level pointer, I believe, and our health one is a one-level one. So once we found the first address, we'll be able to find the static one really quickly. So I'm just going to have a drink quickly. And what we're doing now is, uh, oops, what we're doing now is we're going here. We're going to look for some grenades. All right, we can do this in the game against bots. If you feel more comfortable doing that, uh, press escape and then go single player and then choose the bots game. But I prefer doing it through the um, grenades thing uh, because I'm by myself and there is no time limit. So first thing I'm going to do is go new scan. 
Make sure and take the hex and look for a hundred because that's our health at the moment. There's a hundred, that's fine. And now what I do is I throw a grenade out there and I don't go too close to it. Oops, that was a bad one. Yeah, you're supposed to go a little bit close to it but not too close. And now in my defense, my frames aren't great right now so I'm a bit dodgy about this. There you go. As you can see, I took some shot. Um, well, big shot pretty much, and I only left 13 health, so I'll pick up 13 and just scan for that. As usual, it's usually the top one, so let's just search for that and go, um, just to make sure, as usual, put 1,000 in there, see if we get 1,000 health, and we do, which is great. Um, and we got 1,000 health, and that means we found our basic address, and as usual, if it's black, it's dynamic. It, it's going to change if you restart the game. We don't want that. We want a uh, static address. So we're going to put health here and we're going to go find out what right what accesses this address. Uh, so here we go. Uh, now we're going to have to take some damage in order to kick this in again, just like we did with the ammo. So let's just put that there. Hopefully we won't die. Oh, never mind. We died. But it doesn't matter. We've got our information. Let's just try and take some damage without dying. Oh, for frick's sake. It's terrible totally my fault um, we don't yeah there you go we don't actually need it now we've got three different addresses I didn't want to kick in the one that kills you because then we might be looking at one that's not actually necessary so let me just do this again just try and take some damage try not to die uh, that'd be easier said than done I know there we go we got three which most likely tells us it's this one these ones were kicked in when we died we don't want those so double click on that hopefully I'm right about this so our first offset here set is F4. Now you see all these zeros, they mean absolutely nothing. Think about if you're writing the number, for example, if you know any hexadecimal, you'll know this immediately. But if you're doing this 12, what does that mean? Do you pay attention to the zeros? You don't. So we do the same for this. So it's just like it was like this. So it's just F4 technically. So our offset is F4 and we're going to look for the value 01DE8D58. Alright, that's fine. So we we don't get rid of that yet because we want to make sure we got the right one. So news can put that value in, and we got a ton of them. Now, as usual, we got a few greenies, which means great stuff. Um, and this one's only one level down, pointer. So that's good. And what we do is we um, we create a new address. All right, put a pointer here, and we know our offset is F4. So do F4. And once again, that's in hexadecimal, as most of these ad uh, addresses are, and we go zero zero four. And I told you the numbers behind the 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 first number. The zeros behind the first number don't mean anything, but I'm just copying exactly to the letter. So feel free to put take the zeros off. But I'm just paranoid about these things. So zero zero four D F seven three C. Now, if that points to the exact address, that is good stuff because we found our static address and you see how quick that was compared to the, our ammo one, it was ridiculously quick. Now in theory this took me a lot of days to find out because I was doing the wrong thing but that doesn't really matter. So get this value right, you want this value, so we'll write your first value there because that was your, and your offset is the same. And we've got all we need to do our health and uh, ammo cheat and we're fine with that. And now. Um, what I'm going to do now, I believe that is all we want for that. Um, so let me just check this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'm going to give you now is I want to give you two choices. So you should have your two choices on the screen now. Okay, guys, so here's your two choices. Basically, you've got your external hack here that has unlimited health and limited ammo. And this is mainly focused at beginners, people that haven't done any sort of hacks before. I recommend you do this one. And uh, for those of you that have done some hacks in the past, I recommend you go for this one. This is a little bit more specific. Um, and it's for, it's got higher fire rate uh, hacks, it's got auto fire, and a few more things. As the time of this recording, I haven't added everything to it, so I can't guarantee everything will be there. So. Um, and also this one will have everything that this one has plus the new stuff so like I said um, this is fully up to you of course so feel free to click uh, make sure you got annotations on you and you click on which one you want to do and uh, if none of those are available just um, just wait a few days because odds are I'm making them but hopefully by the time you see this they're both available in your annotations and you can just link yourself to the video so that's about it guys you can have a look at the rest of the gameplay if you like just see what it's like um, and um, you know just 
see which one you prefer and go for that one. Although, like I said, I recommend beginners to go for the this one here, the one on the left, and the um, people that are more advanced go for the one on the right. Alright, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the tutorials guys.